kids, we're so glad to have you this week. I can't believe it's already July and we finished another year of school. Though this year has been crazy because we've all had to do school at home, I'm sure that you were able to learn new things and discover some new hobbies. I've also had to work at home a lot this year. And one of the hobbies that I discovered that I love is doing puzzles. Last week, we learned that Elijah had confidence in God and believed that God could do the impossible. This month, we'll be continuing our theme of confidence. When it comes to confidence, we might try and base it on what we do or what our teachers or parent might say about us. But true confidence should be built on something that is greater than that and lasts forever. We think that's found in understanding how God sees us. God created us and God loves us. And nowhere is this more evident than in the life, the death, and the resurrection of Jesus. And when you put your confidence in Jesus, you can truly see yourself how God sees you. This week, we're gonna be learning about the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and how we can trust that God is always with us. We're gonna see that we can have confidence in the Lord. That's right, Steph. Well, before we do some icebreakers this month, we have some announcements. So parents, we have our summer cuddles happening. They started on June 13th, and now every second Sunday throughout the summer, we're gonna be joining on Zoom for our little ones. There are only a 15 minute call, so we know you can make it, and we leave some other time as well for you to chat and meet other families. We're gonna sing some songs, hear Bible stories, and just have a fun time with our three-year-olds and under. Come join us for summer cuddles. We're hosting a series of coffee chats at parks around the GTA to connect with parents and to connect parents with each other. Bring your kids to play on the playground and we'll bring your Starbucks order. Register at our Baby Kids website. We have two campfires planned for families to connect, sing, play games, roast marshmallows, and listen to a Bible story. Join us on July 15th or July 29th in our Bayview Glen backyard. Register fast as we do have a limit and you can register on our website. See you then. All right, Bayview kids, we are doing icebreakers and our icebreaker for this month is truth or dare. So we are gonna spin a wheel and decide if it's truth or dare and we each get a turn. All right, I think I'm going first this week, so let's spin the wheel. Oh, it landed on dare. Uh -oh. So I get to choose a dare that Hannah will complete. Are you ready for this, Hannah? Okay, what is it? I'm gonna make you sing, I'm a little teapot. How embarrassing. Yeah. All right, here we go. Let me remember how it goes. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Not bad. All right, my turn. your turn. All right, let's spin the wheel. Oh, it landed on truth. You're lucky. Okay, Steph, I want to know what your favorite book of the Bible is or your favorite Bible story. Hmm. Um, I really like the book of Genesis, um, and just a lot of different stories in there. The story of how God created our earth and Noah's ark and how God um, brought all the animals, or how he used Noah to bring all the animals on the ark and how he um, saved mankind through Noah. And yeah. Awesome. All right, let's go to our worship song. It's definitely a fun one this month. So let's stand up and worship God. reason why my feet can't stop my heart can't help but sing it's a wonderful feeling to feel your love for me to feel the joy you bring your love is the answer so I sing to you the reason is you Jesus Set me free, and I'm thankful that 
Six books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story. Inspired by the book of Daniel, chapter 3. King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon liked to go big. Build me a statue. Of course, your majesty. Granite, marble, <laughs> copper. I'm thinking gold. Gold? Pure gold. Wow. Okay. Six feet tall, seven taller. Twenty taller, seventy-seven taller, ninety. Ding, ding, ding! We have a winner. We'll need a super-sized furnace to smelt that much gold. Then supersize it. Commence the smelting. So the king's craftsmen melted down tons of gold and shaped it into an enormous statue, nine feet wide and taller than two and a half telephone poles. They set it just outside the city in the broad plain of Dura. Mmm, such a finely smelted specimen. We must invite everyone to admire my statue. So the king instructed messengers to summon all of his officials. Three of them were Jewish men who had come to Babylon as captives, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. It's a royal decree. That I can see. Are you all coming with me? So the three friends arrived at the plain of Dura where all the other officials had gathered. A messenger from the king called out loudly, This is the king's command. When you hear the sound of horns, flutes, zithers, lyres, harps, and pipes, you must fall down and worship this golden statue. Worship a false god? That's worse than odd. I wouldn't even give it a nod. Oh, and FYI. If you don't do it, you'll be thrown into a blazing furnace. <laughs> Immediately, Music began to play. 
Every single official threw themselves down on the ground except for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And let me tell you, their refusal to bow did not go unnoticed. Who do they think they are? I think we should make things hot for them, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Several officials dusted themselves off and went straight to the king. King Nebuchadnezzar, may you live forever. Thanks. Will do. You told everyone to bow down. As soon as they hear the sounds of the horns, flutes, zithers, lyres, harps, and pipes. But these Jews you appointed don't serve your gods. They refuse to worship your gold statue. Even when they hear the sounds of horns, flutes, zithers, lyres, harps, and pipes? Even when they hear the sounds of horns, flutes, zithers, lyres, harps, and pipes. Oh, now I am very angry in a very big way. The king sent for the three friends. Is what I hear about you true? Don't you serve my gods and worship the gold statue I set up? We will not bow. Even when you hear the sounds of horns, flutes, zithers, lyres, harps, and pipes? We refuse to kowtow. Even though you'll be thrown into a blazing furnace? This ends now. Even if we're thrown into a blazing furnace, the one true God will save us. But even if he didn't, we still wouldn't serve your gods or bow down to some golden statue. Uh, that didn't rhyme. Nebuchadnezzar's face burned red as a ripe tomato. <sighs> Make the fire seven times hotter. Tie them up, throw them in. The king's strongest soldiers grabbed Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They knotted heavy ropes around the three friends and then shoved them into the roaring flames. The king peered into the blue hot heart of the flames and then leapt back in surprise. Didn't we throw three men into the fire? And they all deserved it. Look, I see four men walking around untied. The fire hasn't harmed them. The fourth man, Looks like a son of the gods. Sure enough, a fourth figure stood there with the three friends. An angel? Or perhaps Jesus himself? Dumbfounded, the king rushed to the door of the furnace. Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, you who serve the Most High God, come out. The three friends walked out of the scorching flames, completely unharmed. The royal officials crowded around to see. Their hair isn't singed. Their robes haven't burned. They don't even smell like smoke. King Nebuchadnezzar was so impressed that, as usual, he went big. May the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego be praised. He has sent his angel and saved his servants who trusted in him. No other God can save people this way. So, I'm giving an order about the god of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. No one may say anything against him. Well, what happens if somebody does? Well, they'll be snipped in tiny pieces and their homes turned into piles of trash. Go, God. God. Go, go, God. Go, 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 go God. Go, God. <laughs> go, God. Go, 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 God. The king even honored Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and gave them higher positions in the kingdom. The story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego is an amazing story. Reading it again as an adult and seeing it today just made me realize, wow, these men had so much confidence in God. They knew that if they disobeyed the king that they were gonna die, and yet they still knew that following God was the best decision they could ever make. And yet God saved them, it was such a miracle. God is so amazing. Now kids, I want you to remember today that you can always trust that God is with you. That's something we can remember. God is so trustworthy and faithful and he will always answer our prayers. It may not look like what we think it's gonna look like, but God is always with us. All right, we are going to hear the same story for our little kids. So if you have a younger brother or sister, go and grab them and help them understand the story. And maybe you can quiz them or ask them some fun questions too. Enjoy.
It's a beautiful day. I wanna celebrate. I wanna tell everyone. I just can't wait. He is my friend. He is so great. He can do any anything. I just can't wait. painting fun pictures. What do you think I should paint today? Ooh, that sounds fun. I know. Maybe if I listen to some music, I can get more ideas from that. Music player Melody? Yes? Play some fun music. What kind of music? I don't know. Surprise me. Playing music. Ooh, this is pretty. It sounds like water. This one sounds like an elephant stomping around. I think I hear a train. Do you hear a train?
That one sounds like a bird flying around. I'm gonna use orange. Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? Painting what the music plays, are you? Hi, Ollie. I think this music might sound just like you. Painting to music is fun. It's true. And I have another story about music for you. Listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Welcome to my cupcake food truck. Look at these fun music cupcakes. <laughs> they have music notes on them because our story today has music in it. If you're ready on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. This story is all about how you can trust that God is with you. It starts with a king named King Nebuchadnezzar. Can you say that? neb a ka nezer Try it! neb a ka nezer Good job! And here he comes! King Nebuchadnezzar thought he was the very best king there ever was, and he wanted everyone to know it. One day, he had a giant idea. Now when I say giant, I mean giant. Look! King Nebuchadnezzar made a huge golden statue of himself. Then he told all the people in the kingdom to gather around, and he said that every time the music played, <clears throat> every time the music played, I guess we need a little music. Can you guys help me out? Get out your pretend trumpets like this, and when I say the word music, you play. Ready? Music! <laughs> Perfect! Okay, trumpets down. So let's start that again. The king said that every time the music played, he wanted everyone to bow down to the statue. Great playing, everyone. Trumpets down. But here was the bad part. The king said, if you don't bow down, he would throw you into the fire. Whoa! And the king was serious. So each day, the music played, and everyone in the crowd bowed down. Wait, wait, stop the music. Not everyone is bowing. How many people do you see standing? Can you count them? One. Two, three! Yes, there were three men that didn't bow. Their names were Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They were friends with God and knew that they should not bow down to anyone but the one true God. This made the king very mad. So he ordered Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to be thrown into the fire. Woo! <laughs> If I were them, I would be so afraid. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego trusted that God was with them. So when they went into the fire, everyone was very worried about them. But then something amazing happened. Look! <laughs> How many people do you see in the fire now? Let's count them. One, two, three, four! Four people! Someone else was in the fire. God had sent an angel to be in the fire with them. He protected Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. That is amazing. 
And look at King Nebuchadnezzar. He's so surprised. And he said, guys, come out, come out of the fire. So the three men came out and they weren't hurt at all. Wow! <laughs> King Nebuchadnezzar was amazed that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had trusted God and that God had saved them. What a great story! God is amazing! God was always with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, even in the fire. And you can trust that God will always be with you too. I can trust God and you can trust God. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up! Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can trust God? I can trust God. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can trust God? I can trust God. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye! So there's your story, and it's all true. The men trusted God was always with them, and he's always with you and me, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, God was always with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and made sure they were safe. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you didn't say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I'm so happy that I know that God is always with me no matter what music I'm painting to. Music player Melody, play more fun music. Playing music. I'll see you next time. Bye! Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3, 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3, 5. Today we heard a Bible story about someone who is always with us, no matter where we go. Who is it? Yes, God is always with us, no matter where we go. God was always with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego because he loved them. We can trust God because he loves us and is always with us. That's why when I ask, who can trust God? I want you to say, I can trust God. Here we go, who can trust God? I can trust God. Yay! I can trust God. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for this day. I pray that you can help the kids trust you even when it's hard. In your name we pray. Amen. See you next week.